What's going on everybody? Keith here, two guys out too. June's in the garage getting a few tools and today we're gonna show you how uh, to change the, the bottom inlet gaskets or outlet gaskets going up to the motor. Uh, if you got a fuel cell on your race car that you bought or a car that you bought and they got the return cell in the back that holds the gas. What we're noticing here, you've got your breather valve here. And underneath here, you can see the two fuel lines and both of the gaskets are cracked. So this thing slowly but surely is leaking the gas out. Yeah, they're both cracked and leaking. So what we're gonna do is open this up, take this off here. There's a gasket underneath there. And we're gonna reach our hand in. And it's actually, you'll get into a nut on the inside and the outside one looks similar to this where June is down there. He's got a drip tray and he's gonna just take off a couple of the fuel lines and drain them out into that tray. If there's any left in here, this particular fuel cell in this Nova, it's a 74 Nova, has foam down the bottom. So let's get started and take these nuts off and get access and able to get our hand down in there and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and get this lid off and it's a bolt and you gotta hold the head of the bolt down under there. I got this little teeny uh, quarter inch drive with 11 mil little mini me drive let's see if I can hold it in there June's gonna go down there underneath. Let's hold it if he can. Is it spinning down there? Huh? Okay, so June's holding the bottom. If you hold it, I can spin it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. He's gonna undo it there. There you go. All right. That one's out. And you can see it's got that big old washer down there. So it's got the washer and the nut that sits on there like that. And that little aluminum. Let me get this nut and this washer out. Yeah, and you can see this was on the bottom right here. And it's just all cracked up. So it goes into the tank like that. That one's cracked too. And these two just hold it down like that inside the tank. And then your fuel lines are going out. So we could, uh, I don't know if I got any of those in the shop or not, but let's go up to the speed shop, see if they've got something that's gonna fit. We'll get this thing back together. All right, so we're back from the store. We got a guy up in town and we went ahead and he didn't have any of the gaskets. Only you had to buy the whole thing. So we got this red horse. It's an 8832 08 1 by 20 bucks or 12. How much did he say? 10, 10 12 dollars or something like that. He prices everything off of uh, Summit and then charges you a little bit markup or something. But uh, anyway, we got them. We're ready to install. So. I'd say just get it done. It's brand new, comes with a brand new nut, new fitting, new washers, gaskets. So, uh, and we went ahead, instead of using these bolts here, I went ahead and bought stainless steel Allen head bolts. That way you can put your little Allen key up in there. It's a lot easier and just hold those in and tighten them up. Boom, boom, done. So let's go ahead. I'm going to reach my hand back down in there. June's going to be underneath and we're gonna feed him through the gas gas tank and go ahead and I'm gonna have him tighten it up. He's gonna tighten it up while I hold it down through here. That way 
he can do all the, the more maneuvering and I'll just hold it in place with this big crescent wrench. All right, and June's underneath. He's pushing those fittings up through there to me and he's got the gaskets on there. So he's gonna push them up through into that, uh, the fuel, fuel cell down there and I'm gonna get inside and go ahead and tighten these up. Or let him tighten them up. I'm just gonna hold them in place. in there. Alright, and there's the finished product. And what we did is because they come with those cheapy plastic drain, like their plug uh, gasket, drain plug gasket, but for this fuel line, we went ahead and we put uh, a metal washer here and it's pinching that nice neoprene nylon washer towards the tank. We're good to go. I'm going to fill this thing up with gas and uh, clean the carburetor on it. I haven't driven this car for a while and get on out of here. So uh, June headed out for the night. I'm Keith, two guys how to. And uh, check out the other videos, get that thing back on the road. I'm actually gonna use the old gasket just for now to put that cap back on, but I got a couple of those five inch round gaskets on order. And I'm just gonna hang them in the shop as I go around in the different vehicles that we work on and the race cars here. Uh, each one of them's got a little bit of a crack in it, so uh, they don't leak, but we're just going to knock them out and maintenance them. So double check your gasket on the top, fix it yourself. You can use those hard metal washers on the outside, pushing that gasket up against the tank and uh, see if you can get it to, to seal a little better. I was uncomfortable just running the two gaskets that come in those red horse packs, so uh, I'm out. Check out the other videos. Peace. What's up, Iggy? Talk to him before I shut the video down. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're not a pig, you're a lawyer. He's not a pig, he's a lawyer. Peace. I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer.